What's up, everybody? Uh, Jack Farr here on behalf of uh, Box to Box Football. Uh, no James, which I think right. might be the first time that's ever happened in like maybe the history of this channel, um, apart from obviously little solo videos. Um, but anyway, I am of course joined by Timmy, and we're kind of on the on the heels here of you know potentially the conclusion of one of the biggest transfer stories or sagas. Um, you know, that, that, that's that been around in certainly at least in recent memory, potentially of all time. Lionel Messi has come out. Um, he did have something at, at 5 p.m. British summertime. Um, he did come out and say that he thought that he was uh, he was free to leave. Um, the president, this is quoting Messi, the president always said at the end of the season, I could decide if I stayed or not. Now, the thing with contract law, uh, the idea is that you're supposed to stop disputes like this happening. Uh, because it's written down in a contract and you follow those rules. Mm -hmm. Now, I think, and Timmy, you can correct me where I'm wrong here, I believe it's it's like March, April, May, one of those months, right? Yeah. Uh, June 10th, I think, June the day. So it's June 10th that Messi uh, decides whether he can leave the club um, for free, um, and failing that point, he will then have to to play the rest of his contract. Now, Due to the coronavirus pandemic and obviously, you know, the, 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 the amount of, uh, of dust that's kind of been thrown up into the air um, in everybody's personal lives, but also professional lives as well. I think Messi kind of had the feeling and his entourage, I'm sure, had the feeling of we'll wait till the end of the season, um, which would be around that, that June period. If, if it had been pushed along, then I will make my decision. Obviously, it's very, very clear. Uh, La Liga. Uh, Barcelona both are not willing to watch Lionel Messi walk away to their biggest rivals in terms of Man City. Um, also, obviously, the history there, um, Tiki uh, Bagiristan, uh, Pep Guardiola, um, and obviously the... Um, Ferran Soriano. Ferran Soriano as well, thank you. Um, shock horror, La Liga and Barcelona does not want, you know, arguably the greatest player of all time to walk away for free. Um, first of all, Timmy, I, ju I just wanted to ask you, do you think this will be the end of the saga now? Do you think Messi will be there for the rest of the, for, for this upcoming season? Or do you think there's another twist along the way? Um, it's a weird one because uh, just yesterday they said, well, the police, Catalan police said that they have sufficient evidence to charge Bartomeu with corruption involving Barcegate. And Bartomeu is the only person on the board who's actually reluctant for Messi to leave it for that at all costs. But the other board members are thinking that, look, if we can um, sell Messi and make our money back, we can invest into the club and cover our debts. Because the thing is that as Barcelona board, when you leave your tenor as the club, as the club owner, if any outstanding debts that came under you, you have to pay from your own pocket. Yeah. So Messi's sale and everything around his wages could cover that. But Bartomeu is so reluctant to let him go. Now, the thing is, though, Messi said now nah, nah, that nah, I'm, I'm going to stay because well, I want to leave, but there's no option for me. I can't leave. And I don't want to go to court because I don't want to uh, offend Barcelona. I don't want to go to court of Barcelona, a team I love so much. And this is also Messi, so I don't know. Anyway, but it's, let, let me just I'll stay for the season. Um, and obviously, it's been hard for him. He's been wanting to leave for the past year or so. Um, he's been saying, I've, wanted, I've been thinking about leaving all year round, so it's not because of this, it's before prior. And of course, as well, June 10th, the season restarted after June 10th. I think it was June 12th to June 13th. So it's interpretation differently down to the end of the season. Right. So we're approaching the end of, I, I think, maybe part one of the saga, depending how it goes. I think now, if he stays to the end of the season, um, the current new season anyway, um, he can always, what, in January, negotiate with another club for the Bosnian ruling um, and leave for free. Right. But the thing is that Barcelona as a club now, from a financial point of view and from the investment side of things, it probably is better to get Messi off the books and to save him for money than for him to leave in January for free. Like, but then again, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I think it's only done for now. I still think there's something that can still happen. Obviously, depending on the new board, so the new board coming at March, and Messi could sign a pre-contract in January. So we'll have to see Barcelona stay um, come January because he's come out and said that there's never been a footballing project for the past so and so years. It's been a massive lie. It just yeah. hasn't happened. Yeah. So if Barcelona are 
just on this topsy turvy whatever form in come January, he can say, you know what, I'm leaving, sign contract with Man City, and then leave at the end of the season. But if it's somewhat stable and looking good, looking bright in the run of coming, and then the new board coming in March time, then maybe he might say, maybe I'll stay. I don't know. But I still think personally, it's what's best for him is to leave and not stick around for a new project at 33 years old. Um, I think I agree with you. Um, I, 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 you know, I agree with nearly everything you said there. Uh, the only other thing I can think of, I don't know what Messi's circle of trust looks like. Uh, it seems like it's very family orientated, a couple of close friends. Mm. I just wonder if somebody gets in his ear, mentions something, you know, legal talk that maybe he can do, maybe he can complain to somebody or maybe he can speak with somebody who'll be able to help him leave. But today's kind of statement really did seem kind of official and kind of kind of like a big deal. Um, so, so maybe it is the end. I just, I, I think in football, you can never rule out another kind of twist in the tail. Um, yeah. I do know what you mean though. And I don't think I'd rule out him staying either. Um, I think if the board changes, if it goes well under Koeman, um, it seems like the likes of Luis Suarez uh, will be leaving. Rakitic has already gone back uh, back to Sevilla. Um, there's always, always been rumours about uh, Samuel Mtiti um, leaving as yeah. well. Um, Usman Dembele, there's, there's always rumours flying around uh, regarding Barcelona. Uh, Jeannie Wijnaldum coming in, who obviously Kerman knows very, very well. And potentially there may be kind of a new fresh light uh, for, for Messi to be there for. What it comes down to, to me, is pride. And I think I agree with you. Why would you want to lose Messi potentially for free um, as of the end of the season or potentially, um, you know, losing him, but for even less of a cost in January? If you're going to do the restart, you may as well do the restart now. Um, yeah. His wages, um, I don't know how you feel about this. I don't think Barcelona are at any risk of winning the league next year, La Liga next year. Um, I don't think they're really in with too much of a shot of winning the Champions League. I would kind of cut ties now. Try and be respectful about it. Try and be a man about it. You know, um, give give him the credit and the respect that he deserves. But just let let him go and try and negotiate something. Um, you know, I know there are players that Man City have that Barcelona may want, um, and obviously you're getting that huge wage bill off of the off of the books as well. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, um, because Barcelona currently pay. Him nine hundred eighty-eight thousand pounds a week, uh, like enormous, enormous wage. Even one person getting that one payment a lifetime could change their life. So getting that as a week is crazy. Yeah, rumors are circulating saying that Man City were willing to offer him even more money than what he's currently on. <laughs> I've seen double or triple, or ever some crazy amounts been thrown around, but they want him probably on a free transfer. They've even popped up the question of giving Barcelona Eric Garcia yeah. and Angelino. And uh, Gabriel Jesus, players who Barcelona would, uh, the players Barcelona could use, and are talented players more or less that are available. But I think the thing you're right about is pride. Bartomeu doesn't want to be the president in the club's history who let Lionel Messi go, because that's the biggest blotch that you could ever find on someone's career. And it, like I said, it for him, it's a risk for him even leaving after Barcelona after his tenure is finished. Him being in Barcelona or in Catalonia is a risk because. Fans would be mad, like, mm-hmm. what he's done to the club, no projects, uh, overpaid players on heavy contracts and embarrassing performances and all this talk of academy graduates losing and all this coach in and out. We've had three coaches this year. Yeah. That's rare for Barcelona to even sack a coach mid-season, let alone have three in the same year. So, in, in that terms of things, I think he's trying to save his own, his own behind here. Like, I don't think, and he knows as well the club's going down. And he, he's tried to post this image around through socials, like a media outlets and saying that things aren't that bad, particularly using different sources here and then during the Messi saga to say that, oh, Messi is going to stay. And to try and toot his own horn, to try and keep him as a presentable image. But Messi's interview to goal. Uh, just showed how honest and brutally honest that he had to be for his point to get across. Promised to leave, or he's allowed, said he was allowed to leave, and he said Bartomeu didn't keep his word. Mm-hmm. I think when I, I think when publicly, because we know things behind the scenes can be a bit iffy at any football club, but I think there's always a problem when a major player and a captain at a club 
publicly is fighting against the club owner slash president, right. I think that's when you know tensions are really there and that's not a good look for any club at all. No, I'm, and I think, you know, the biggest kind of indictment that I can think of is that um, it, it's starting to resemble a little bit like Bale. Uh, Bale had his interview recently with, uh, with Sky Sports where he just went, look, I tried to leave. They didn't let me. I want to leave this summer. They won't let me. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But the club kind of won't let me. And, you know, I think Gareth Bale is this figure kind of of ridicule in Spain. I'm not saying Messi will get anywhere near that. But yet again, it sounds to me like you've got a player that wants out and the club want to, want to pose it as this, you know, fantastic relationship and everything's fine. But the mm. player's telling you in print now, you know, with his own mouth, I'm not happy here anymore. And the club are keeping me here. Now, I'm big, you know, footballers are becoming smarter and smarter. This is a business. Uh, it's one of the most lucrative businesses that anyone can get into. So when you sign that contract, you need to be ready, willing and able um, to, to play the kind of fulfilled years of those, of those contracts. I largely don't have a great deal of sympathy for somebody such as Gareth Bale, who signs a massive extension and then yeah. complains about being at the club when you're on that much money. I would personally go on shorter deals, give yourself the flexibility and the freedom. I think that will be the future of football um, when it comes to especially the top players. But anyway, we, we will see. So um, a couple final conclusion questions just as we kind of come to the end of this video. Um, first La Liga game of next season. Lionel Messi is a Barcelona player, yes or no? 2021-2021 uh, season? Yes. Yeah, I think he'd be a Barcelona player. Subject to some massive crazy change that Bar that the because currently there's also the the motion of confidence that when uh, the associates in Barcelona members feel that the club's getting to a point now where it can't happen. They tried doing it uh, three years ago with um uh, forgot his name forgot his name anyway but now it's a Victor Font yeah. And he's Victor Font, and the other candidates have come across and presented emotional confidence against Bartomeu, saying that the club elections must be brought forward immediately. They need 16,000 signatures um, by club members before, I think, the end of, or by a certain date, September, maybe next week or so. Right. And it means elections will come forth, be abrupt immediately. There's also the corruption scandal from the police that just opened up just last night about Bartomeu. Yep. Uh, but they've got sufficient evidence that shows that he's, been a, he's around the corruption of Barcegate. So, subject to change, if he resigns from Barcelona in the next week or two before the season starts or a new board comes in, it means that we might see Messi leave. He might, he might be given the grant to go and go anyway, even though he said he's staying. Or as it stands, um, we can't really say he's going to leave this season. I, I think I, I think I agree with you, and I think it is important to preface yes or no with the context that you just gave there, because the moment that one major thing changes, the whole thing changes. Um, yeah. I really do feel strongly that I believe there's a compromise to be found between Man City, Barcelona, and Messi. I really do. I think there is a way that all parties can leave quite happy um, in, in terms of the outcome. Um, and yeah, I, I, I tend to agree with basically everything you just said there. Next question. Um, potentially this one's a little easier. Um, season 2021-22, first game of either the Premier League or La Liga season, where's Lionel Messi playing his football? Um, I would like to say Premier League. Okay. Uh, I think Premier League. I think when I read something in his quotes as well, which was saying that he, he spoke about a new challenge. Uh, he said he wants to talk about new goals and new challenges. Now, Messi as someone who loves the club, it's not as if he doesn't leave Barca because he doesn't want to take new challenges. Right. But it's a player who loves, like you can be so grateful to a club for what they did to you, where he was in Rosario and what he had and what they paid for and everything. It's like the biggest um, repayment or gratitude can be to dedicate my whole career to the club and give as much success as I can. Now, it, from a neutral point of view, from the context of main sports fans, you want to see a player like him bang four, five, six years here, then go to a different top club and do the same thing there. And then like Ronaldo almost in, in, in comparison. But you have a different context of a player who's got more of a sentimental attachment to a club now. Now it's a different situation where it's like... Uh, the sentiments gone from where it's been, from where it was a beautiful kind of love story to now it's like just business. 
So it's just going to be just business. I think that he's going to go and say, all right, then I've got maybe three years to top my career, maybe maybe four. I'm going to I'm going to leave and then play in the Premier League because I think the Premier League is actually looking like the only place he wants to go to. It, it does sound like that, and I think um, by extension of Man City, you've also got uh, the City Football Group and the variety, wide variety of options uh, to play for teams there, um, and and you know the future within the footballing world. Uh, not that Messi needs any help with that. I'm sure he could have any job in any role that he wants. Um, when he finishes as an active player. But I think once you look at the wages and you look at the path of um, Manchester City with Pep there, obviously his contract, I don't know how that fits in with how long Messi will be there. I imagine there'll be a year or two extension there, perhaps, uh, if he were to sign. Um, And then obviously the path straight to New York City, if he chooses to take that, maybe, maybe not. Um, and then, you know, and it wouldn't surprise me at that point if City Football Group uh, buy a club in Argentina uh, and, you know, maybe goes, up, maybe goes back to Argentina yeah, and not new old boys like everyone, uh, you know, everyone ends up thinking. But no, I tend to agree with you. Um, you know, it's, I, it, it's one of these funny things. I'm, ta- I'm talking about it, but it still feels kind of dreamlike. You know, I don't think we ever thought we'd, we'd, we'd talk about Lionel Messi having a transfer away from Barcelona. Um, Anyway, anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for listening. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Um, yeah. Is Lionel Messi going to stay at Barca? Uh, do you think he will go to City? As Timmy said, you know, I think it really is a very important point. If there's changes at the upper management of Barcelona, it could change the whole landscape of any sort of deal. So it's always worth considering. But let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. Okay.